Welcome to my channel and welcome to my own little corner. And tonight in my own little corner, just because you're chilling with me tonight, I am going to be treating you to a nice, cool, refreshing glass of Jamaican beetroot and carrot juice. Yes, beetroot and carrot juice. And my beetroot and carrot juice, there's no pulp, there's no fiber, so there's no need for strainer. Okay, and it gets better. No milk, no sugar. So come with me and I'll show you what we're working with tonight. Okay, here I have my carrots already peeled. I have my ginger. My ginger is not yet peeled. And I have my beetroot that is not yet peeled. I have my vanilla essence. I have two bottles of water. I have my lemon juice and I have my cinnamon powder. And those are my utensils and my container. And I have my pot that is already boiling. So let's get it done. All right, I'm going to be peeling my beetroot. The beetroot is a bit stainy, so I should have been wearing a glove, but I am not. So for the record, you'll be needing a glove to peel your beetroot. I am using just one beetroot because the beetroot is very rich. So I won't be needing more than one beetroot. So I peel my beetroot and now I am going to be peeling my ginger. And we need a good amount of ginger because the ginger adds the flavor. Adding a bit more ginger because I really want the ginger flavor. Oh 
Okay, so that's about it for my ginger. So now I'm going to be cutting my carrots. I'm going to be cutting all, I'm going to be cutting the ginger, the carrot, and the beetroot. I'm just chunking my carrots. Okay, so now that I cut, I'm going to be washing my beetroot, carrot, and my ginger. So after washing my, yes, my vegetables, I'm going to be adding them to the boiling water. I'm going to be boiling them for about 15 minutes, 10, 15 minutes the most, just so that's the way of extracting the fibers. So I'm just going to be boiling them for like 10, 15 minutes. Sorry, I get the water all over my stove. So in the meantime, I'm going to be cleaning up my area. Okay, guys, I'm back. And I have finished. I have cooked my beetroot and carrot for about 15 minutes. As I said, the reason for cooking it is to extract the fiber. So I cook it for about 15, tip about 15 minutes the most. So now I'm going to be adding the carrot. My I'm going to be adding my vegetables to my blender. 
yes they're still hot so i'm going to be adding them to the blender As I said, they're not fully cooked. I just cook them for about 15 minutes. Just enough to loosen the fiber. It is hot, it is boiling hot, so I don't want to be pouring it all at once in the blender. So I'm spooning it. Okay, so I have finished adding my vegetables to the blender. So now, here I have, I'm going to be adding some cold water, room temperature. Okay, so here... I have a tablespoon of vanilla. I have a teaspoon of cinnamon powder. And I'm going to add just a teaspoon of lemon juice. I did not have the lemon, so I used the lemon juice. And um, you can use to it just up to your taste bud. You don't want too much lemon because you don't want to taste it sour. You just need the flavor. So now, I'm going to be adding, yes, my broth from my vegetables to my blender. Okay. Just a little at a time. I'm going to be covering my blender and remember it is hot so I am going to be gauging my blender to hot and then I am going to be adding my timer I'm going to give it two minutes three minutes then I am going to blend
okay so now i am going to be checking to see the texture of my juice yes bear in mind it is hot it is still steaming hot so you need to be careful Oh yes, that is rich, that is rich, see, no fiber, okay, I'm going to add just a little bit more of the juice. And now I'm going to change the smoothie and I'm going to blend for two minutes. guys we're finished blending I have rinsed my glass bear in mind you're going to be drinking you're going to we're going to be serving this chilled so because it is just finished and it's still hot I just want to pour so that you can see what it looks like but when you're having it you're going to have it chilled because right now this is still hot so no we don't want hot carrot juice we want a tall glass of well ice cold carrot juice so i'm just going to be pouring it just for you to see what it looks like but bear in mind you are having this icy cold pour it on the ice so you have it on the rocks or you can just chill it beforehand and then have it straight up so here goes As you can see, it is still steaming. Mm. I hope you're able to see, I want you to be able to see the texture of my juice. So I'm bringing you a bit closer so you can see the texture of my juice.
Here we go. And remember the glass is frosty because it is hot it is boiling hot so i just wanted to show you what it looks like see it is rich i wanted to see it is rich it is thick we have no sugar no milk no creamer no sugar no milk no creamer and as you can see no pulp there is no pulp so there's no need for the strainer see i promised you a tall glass of jamaican carrot and beetroot juice so mm, i am sure i am sure that you will enjoy your beetroot and carrot juice and remember you are to serve it cold icy cold if you want depending on how you want but this is boiling hot and as i said i just wanted to show you what it looks like so that's it it is rich it is extremely smooth and it is yummy delicious and that's so healthy a whole lot of health benefits i can't start i i can't finish telling you if i start so just bear in mind this is all you need it's food by itself so i hope you enjoy my video and i hope you enjoy my tall glass of jamaican beetroot and carrot juice remember now not hot icy cold cheers now after enjoying your beetroot and carrot juice i want i want you to keep safe and stay blessed